Hello all, welcome back to the YouTube channel The Engineering Survey. Today we are going to see how to set up a target prism over a ground point. So, first thing we have to do is we have to loose this butterfly and lower this legs down. One by one, like that, and I just stick to our chest, chest level, right? Then tie up all these butterfly screws, and spread the legs equally. Like this. But the thing is, uh, you can't equally spread the legs here, because the ground is sloping, right? In that case, uh, you have to spread two legs a little bit further. One one leg, one leg a little bit further like this, and somehow exactly keep this tripod head over this peg. That's how you have to do, it, right? Now you see these legs, these two legs approximately have. Uh, similar angles, right, from the zenith axis, but this is having a little bit higher angle compared to these two legs, right, that's how you fix a tripod in a sloping ground, right, right, the next thing is, uh, you need to fix one leg firmly to the ground, so I thought that I must uh, push this leg, you have to apply your body weight, right? Then next thing is you have to unbox this one, right? In the take the take the prism out, right? So this prism has the prism itself in the box and this is the fibra, right? Fibra. The, fi uh, the prism base. Right. So before you un uh, take it out, you have to see how it is inside the box, right? I, I think that you have already taken a photograph of that. Before you fixing this, you have to bring all these screws to mid run. Right, there's a small mark. Right. A small mark you have to take all bring all these uh, put screws to that mid run mark right so this is the mid run mark right next thing you have to fix this base right on the tripod head like this not like this right you can't push it to the extreme end, right? Not like this, not like this. This corner should align with this corner of the tripod head and it should have equal distances from the edges of the tripod head, right? This side has some space, this side has some space and also this side has some space. Then you fix this from the tightening screw to the tripod head like this. This is called the optical plummet, right? You keep your eye here and try to see that you can see the peg through this, right? The first thing you have to do is you have to clear the crosshairs. So these are the crosshair focusing screws. Come, come around and see. This outer one is called the crosshair focusing screw, right? So first I clear I clear the crosshairs, right? So usually this is called the reticule because there are no crosshairs here just like in the telescope. Right? Once you clear it, you can clear the object. This is called the object focusing screw, right? This inner one. This is the outer one crosshair focusing screw, this is the object focusing screw. Thereafter now, I see 
our uh, target uh, peg, right? Target peg is a little bit out. So I need to lift this two legs slightly and bring the bring it to the center. Bring this reticule to the center of the peg. Right. That is what I am doing. Come and see. Right. Now you have to push these two legs. Check back this, right? Now once you push this, definitely it will be out. It will be out. So now we have to adjust it by the legs, right? Now you have to observe this bullseye bubble here. Now you see the bullseye bubble is out of adjustment, right? Bullseye bubble is out. So we need to bring it to the center, right? Bullseye bubble is out. You have to bring it to the center. So for that, come around. So I can use these three tripods. Sorry, uh, three legs. I need to use these three legs. So this bubble needs to move in this direction. So therefore, I need to adjust this leg. I need to lower this leg a little bit down, like this, and move the bubble in that direction. And bubble is in the line of this leg so now i need to lift this leg a little bit now the bubble is in the line of this leg i need to lift this leg a little bit now the bubble again in this line a little bit i will adjust that one as well right now the bullseye bubble is exactly at the center now what we have to do is we have to adjust this longitudinal bubble we have to keep this bubble parallel to two foot screws like this right and then using the left thumb rule now you see my left thumb moving this this way that means the bubble also moves this way right if my left thumb move outwards the bubble also moving that say in the same direction right that is called left thumb rule I bring it, bring the bubble to the center, and then I turn this longitudinal bubble 90 degrees like this to this line, and I just this bubble. And just this bubble by only using this one, right? Now it is at the center. Only by the one screw. All right, before we fix the top part, now we have to check whether this peg is exactly under the instrument. Now we can see it is slightly out, right? It's like... It is slightly out. Right. I need to loose this screw a little bit and bring it to the center right we have now enough room to push this to the corners why at the beginning we have kept some space from each edge right right done now again we have to check the level out of level I adjust this little bit and turn it 90 degrees I adjust it a little bit all right okay again check the level right check the center now it's it's done 
Now you need to fix the top part. Bring the prism. All right. I fix it here. Before I fix it, I need to check whether this uh, nut, this uh, bolt is loose. Right. Use that, that screw and then tie it up like this. Right. Now we need to turn it towards the total straight. Right. The total station is that way. Right. Okay. I fix it and I turn it a little bit downwards because the total station is it, um, at the down slope. Right. That's it. Now I fix it. Right. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more of the very latest videos.